going to talk about the uh, behavior of molecule uh, of gas molecules. Three point. 
to uh, if used from a porous container, whereas the identical number of uh, carbon dioxide gas takes uh, 25 seconds to, uh, to be used from the uh, uh, same container. And we know that the molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 gram per mole. And how to solve this question? How we know the mass of molar mass of the unknown gas? We can use the Graham's law. Uh, according to the law, we can uh, we can mark that the unknown gas number two and mark the carbon dioxide number one. So we can see that R2 over R1 equals to R1 over R2 as well. And in this case, the amount of two molecules is uh, uh, the amount of the two molecules are the same. So, so it equals to the uh, time one over time two squared. And then R2 equals to time one over time two squared times time one. And one is 44 gram per mole, and the uh, time one is uh, is 25 seconds and time to a 33.5 seconds. So we can know that the molar mass of the unknown gas is uh, 79 gram per, per mole. That is the use of Graham's law to solving uh, theoretical problems. Um, besides this one, Graham's law provides a uh, provides a basis for separating isotopes uh, by, by diffusion. That method is, uh, that method plays a significant role in the development of atomic bonds. So anybody know how uh, we use Graham's law to produce atomic bonds? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. How we use the Graham's law to produce atomic bond. Atomic bond? Yeah. You know? No, no, no. Uh, time. No. Okay. Um, because in the atomic bond, the, uh, we have to separate uranium 235 and uranium 238. The uranium 238 is not stable, so we have to try to. Uh, try to separate from the uh, uranium two two three five. That is a part we use. And because uranium two three five and uranium two uh, two three uh, two three eight are different in their uh, weight, the molar mass of uranium two three five is. Uh, 203, uh, 35, 275 gram per mole. And the molar mass of uranium 238 is uh, 238 gram per mole. And uh, according to the Graham's law, we can know that the infusion rate uh, of the two um, elements are about the same. So I can separate them. Mm -hmm. 